All right, so I'm on the phone with uh, Tim Sosa, going to be fighting King of the Cage this Saturday in El Paso, Texas. How you doing today, Tim? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing all right, man. So uh, it looks like you picked up this fight on short notice. Uh, when did you get the phone call? Um, I got it uh, like two Thursdays ago, so about like two weeks from now. Awesome. And uh, how are you feeling with this upcoming fight? Are you ready for it? Yeah, um, I've been training actually hard uh, since uh, November, early December. Um, so uh, you, you know, I, I definitely feel sharp, and uh, it's just a a little bit of a rushed cut for me, but it's not a problem, and it's uh, I'm not hurting by any means. All right, and uh, what do you think of Jesus as an opponent? Um, I think he's a, I think he's a, a, a good opponent. Um, I know he's a, a good wrestler and a good grappler and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, putting him away. Awesome. Awesome, man. And, um, uh, what do you think, uh, Jose possesses that would give you the most difficulties in the ring? Uh, pr probably his top game. Um, I know with his, uh, his grappling accolades and uh, him, him being a shorter fighter, I'm sure that uh, that's probably where he's best at is his, uh, is his top game. Awesome. And uh, what what do you think you hold that would uh, just completely dominate him? What 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 do you think uh, is his is his biggest weakness? Um, I uh, well, I definitely think it's his. His biggest weakness uh, would be his height. So my my biggest advantage over him would probably be my height and reach, and uh, and my experience in the cage. Actually, awesome. Um, how do you describe everything that's coming up for you uh, with these last two fights that you've uh, gotten the W's on? Um, well, my last fight was in uh, R J, and um, I, well, I didn't get to finish out. I was disappointed. About but I do think it's my biggest win because uh, that was definitely my toughest opponent, and uh, I, I beat him at his own game, so I'm I'm really proud of that. And uh, the fight before that, um, I got my redemption over Alan Lerma in his hometown, and uh, he, you know, like I I, I beat him. This is a rematch. I I beat him the first time, but they got our names mixed up, and, and you know, they wouldn't overturn it or anything. So. Uh, I, I showed who's a better fighter, and um, so so uh, I'm still building momentum off off those wins, and uh, I, I intend to keep and uh, keep keep racking up the wins. Awesome. And uh, what do you see yourself doing in the immediate future? Um, the the immediate future, um, right after this, uh, my. Uh, I, I gotta switch gears and uh, get right back in the gym. Uh, we have Ray Borg fighting out of our gym in the uh, UFC uh, in in Broomfield on uh, February 14th. So I'm gonna get right back in the gym and, and help him train and, and be a partner for him, just like he he was there for me. And uh, then I'm gonna head out with him and, and help him make weight and then corner him and, and get you know help him get that W. Um, so that's that's what's next on the agenda for me, or for you know, is uh, focusing on him. But uh, as as far as for me, I'm just gonna stay in the gym. So if uh, another uh, another short short notice fight comes up, uh, I can take the opportunity and turn that into a W as well. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions I got for you tonight, Tim. I appreciate you taking the phone call and taking your time and talking with me. Again, if you guys get a chance, head on down to El Paso, Texas, actually Socorro City, Texas, um, where Tim Sosa is going to be fighting.